Make mine topic time. Topic, 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 topic time. It's topic time. While you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Also, check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater. Join the Frontline 6 every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. for Frontline Live right here on Comic Frontline to discuss all the latest news in geek culture and our top five comics of the week. Continue the conversation on the Frontline Discord. Be sure to check out ComicFrontline.com for the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with fun, unique features and daily updates. And don't forget to follow me, Comic Book Theater, Media Manus, and... Front, comic Frontline on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Hey everyone, welcome back to Comic Frontline. Jay here with another Topic Time. Today I'm going to do a Topic Time on Gabriel Luna coming back to reprise a role of um, Ghost Rider in a new Hulu series. Now, um, this series is going to um, be about Gabriel Luna as Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider. If you haven't know, if you didn't know, he played Ghost Rider um, on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and it was well received by fans. It's actually considered one of the best um, seasons of Go um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. by a majority of the fans. So um, a lot of people were wondering why they didn't bring him back as an ongoing character and stuff. But now that Disney owns the rights of um, Fox properties, of most of Fox properties, they um, inherited, well, they bought with that um their stake in Hulu, which is another 30%. So, with their 30% and then the 30% of Hulu, they now own, I mean, of um, Fox, they now own 60%. So, with that, they're going to flex a little bit of muscles, and we're going to get a couple of series from there. Um, one is we're getting, again, the Gabriel Luna Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider series, which they're saying is not going to be really fully a Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. sequel series or something. It's going to be an original story content. So it's probably not going to pick up the threads. They'll probably do something where it's not going to be like, this is, you know, continued from that story, but they're not going to deny that that story happened or that it's about to happen. You know, it could be a prequel to that series. We don't know. But um, it's going to be Gabriel Luna as Ghost Rider, as Robbie Ray as Ghost Rider. So it's going to be the same character, same actor. So I, I doubt that Marvel, with all their connectivities, is going to say that that never happened. They're probably just going to pick up a new thread of storyline for it. And then um, the next one is Hellstrom, which is, you know, the story of Son of Satan in Marvel. Which is, um, I find it interesting that the first two series that they're doing for, for Hulu, now that they have this majority stake in it, is... Um, two of their lesser known characters and their supernatural stuff. So, could um, Hulu be their source for, you know, their supernatural or their lesser um, known characters? We got Runaways on there now, and now we got these two new shows coming out. I think Hellstrom may be a harder sell, but I think Ghost Rider is going to do really well on Hulu. I think it's going to be stronger than um, the Runaways because. That, that character had a big fan base from uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think that's going to carry over into this. So, the, um, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about this new series? Because I'm personally excited about it. I loved um, him on that show, on that season of um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I thought it was great. I thought, again, I wanted people who think that's one of the best seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And um, I'm, I'm interested to see what everybody else has to think about it. And what your opinions are on this and everything like that. So hit it up in the comments and let me know what you guys think about this. And um, what other shows would you want to come to Hulu? Because given this with the minor characters, there are a couple shows that could come to um, out on Hulu now that they have this majority stake. And if they keep going with the minor characters, we might get like a Miss Marvel Hulu series or something like that. Or a Miles Morales Hulu series, which I think would be really cool to do. Both of those series. I think both of them would fit on Hulu perfectly. Or, instead of Miles Morales, do a Spider-Gwen, um, you know, Hulu series. Or a, you know, Spider-Verse type thing where you got, like, Miles and you got Gwen. And you can throw in um, maybe another, like, Silk or something, you know? Or even a Silk series. Anything like that. I think those are the type of series that we could really get in this. Because, uh, and maybe even an X-Men series now that the um, X-Men are a part of it too, so... Maybe we can get something with the X-Men going on in there. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this.